Hey everyone, so I thought it today would be fun to kind of go through the five reasons why I personally love to live here in Central Florida. Now, I'm not going to go through the standby ones of I uh, love the Florida weather, things like that. I'm going to give you some specifics uh, on some things you may not have thought of about moving here to Central Florida. That's coming up next, so you definitely want to stick around if you're interested in moving here. Hey everyone, it's Matt here once again with the Matt Allen Real Estate Team. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. If you're new to our station, which we hope you are, hit that, smash that, crush that like button and become a, a follower. We try to give as much information about Central Florida. We try to keep it not boring for you and also to educate you in the real estate process. Today, is kind of a fun one I wanted to do on why I feel that Orlando or Central Florida area is one of the best places to live. Now, I have, just to give you some background, lived in multiple locations around the United States. I've lived in, uh, starting in upstate New York, I lived in Western Massachusetts, I lived in New Hampshire, Boston, uh, Texas, I've lived in, um, Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, I've lived in, uh, um, I think that's about it. But anyway, so I've kind of lived in, in different places and experienced different things. So why I love to live in Florida, I'm going to break down into five different categories of why. Um, and they're, as I was saying, are not going to be the standard ones. I'm not going to say, well, because Disney's here. Well, yes, that's a big reason for people to move here and, and, and as well as the weather. Uh, but the things I'm going to talk about you may not have thought of. So without further delay, let's get into number one. Now, number one has to do with the activities going on here in central Florida. There is, and I am serious when I say there is always something going on. Now I'm not one that has to go out and has to do things every weekend. But if we have an off weekend and we want to try something new or go do something, all I have to do is Google Orlando, what's happening or something to that effect. And I can just get lists of things like professional sporting events going on, concerts, uh, festivals, local events, whether it's in downtown Windermere, there's always something going on or Dr. Phillips or downtown Orlando at the uh, parks down there, there is always something happening here. And coming from where I grew up, where there wasn't a ton going, and if there's anybody listening from my hometown, hopefully you would agree with, with me. There's there's not the level of things going on. There was probably a half dozen events throughout the year where there's probably 20 or 30 events going on every weekend here in Central Florida. So that is a big draw. It's why I enjoy living here because we can always find something to do and it's not always the same thing every weekend. So that's number one. Now stick with me here on number two, because it's not actually what I like about Orlando, but why I like to come back to Orlando when I'm traveling. Uh, you see, when I lived in all of these other places, I would travel and then I would go back to those places and I could tell immediately um, in my mood, in my stress level, that I wasn't looking forward to going home. Uh, whether it was Boston or Western Massachusetts or Texas, I just wasn't looking forward to it after a great vacation or when I went to see my family. But that does not happen when I I leave Orlando and I always, always look forward to coming back here because I know a lot of the positive things and, and Orlando is a great fit for me based on activities, based on some of these other things we're going to talk about. So I'm always looking forward to it. It doesn't hurt that when I'm on a plane, there's a bunch of children that are, are all super excited about going to Disney World and, and uh, everybody seems to be happy flying into uh, Orlando. So, uh, that's number two on my list. You know, I hope take it as you will, as far as why that's a benefit. 
Now, number three is convenience. Now, I'm not saying convenience is not available anywhere else in the United States or the world, but personally here, I find convenience of things like groceries, uh, gas, uh, getting onto major highways and getting out of town, if that's something I'm, I'm looking to do, or uh, going to a restaurant. Everything is very convenient here. I was thinking before recording this, how many grocery stores are within a five mile radius of me? And I stopped counting around five or six. Um, so they're, they're very, it's very easy to uh, go to the grocery store and be back in, in 15, 20 minutes. So um, at restaurants are, I could walk to some restaurants if I wanted to. Um, that's how close things are. And, and it's not just like a McDonald's. There's uh, fine dining. Now, obviously that's where I'm located. Um, but I think that's pretty common in and throughout central Florida. So it's not something that's just rare to the Southwest side where I live. Um, but so that's, a, that's what I'm going to count as number three is convenience and, and where everything's at. Now, they always say here in Central Florida that nobody actually grew up here or nobody is a born and bred Floridian. And to a certain extent, that may be a little accurate because of so many people that are are coming into the area. Um, there's there's not as many people that grew up here or were born here and uh, raised here. However, uh, that brings forth the the actual fourth benefit of living here is you're always meeting people, no matter if it's a social event, a sporting event, something going on, or even, you know, at a restaurant, we are constantly meeting people from around the United States and from around the world that have migrated and, and, and uh, moved here to central Florida. So there, there's just a lot of culture in the area. Um, there's always a commonality um, based on, on the fact that Personally, I've lived in, in multiple places. I always find some commonality when I'm talking with somebody um, where they live, where they grew up, where they vacation. Um, so, so that's always a, a benefit. It's, it's a great place to meet people and build your social circle. Um, and, the, and, you know, there's a lot of people of all different ranges of, of financial status and um, religious status, things like that. So great place to, to put your roots down and, and get to, to meet a whole other uh, group of people. So now number five pertains to either having children or wanting to start a family. And if you're not interested in that, you can skip on. I do have a bonus at the end you may want to listen to, uh, but this has to do with a family or starting a family here in central Florida children are exposed to a lot of things that they are not exposed to throughout the rest of the United States. And I don't just mean, uh, theme parks because you know, that's, that's kind of a big deal. You know, we always used to say, you know, growing up, I would get to Disney world maybe once in my lifetime, um, where we have, uh, or had annual passes to Disney world. My son was going every other weekend. So, um, it's kind of a different, a different animal down here. Um, kids are exposed to not only theme parks, um, but the wildlife down here is a lot different. Um, and, and the opportunity to, to see some of that wildlife in these parks, uh, is something that we, we never got to do as children as well. So, um, learning, uh, you know, they learn a lot more. There's you know, when you're, you're sending your kid off to SeaWorld camp, it's a lot different than going to the YMCA and, and, uh, having crafts. You're, you're learning about whales and you're seeing the whales and, you know, you're sleeping overnight there. So it's, it's just another opportunity to, to do that. Professional sports is another thing. They get to see a lot of sports. These, uh, the, um, Sports for children down here is huge. They have a, a huge array of things going on throughout the year. Uh, because of our weather, we can have longer sports seasons, whether it's baseball, soccer, uh, tennis, golf, whatever it is, we can do more of that down here just based on the weather. So I would say number five is just more opportunity to expose your children to more 
experiences, more things going on, more learning and whatnot. I hope that makes sense for you. Now I want to give you one more bonus. And again, this is just from my personal experiences and, and, and what my personal reasons are for loving it here. It's staycations. And I know that's kind of an odd one. And a lot of people don't do it, but, but I know a lot of people that do it. Uh, a staycation is basically going on a vacation, but you're not really going that far. You're going maybe, a, you know, four or five miles down the road. You could be going camping at Disney. You could be going to uh, the Ritz Carlton for a weekend or, or a Disney hotel or a hotel on Universal uh, Studios or International Drive or, you know, it could be just anything. Um, there's a lot of opportunity to do that here. Again, other places I live, I don't recall ever being able to do that. And it gives you an escape. It gives you a chance to, to recharge. You almost feel like you're in a different area anyway. By the time you check in and get out to the pool, you forget you're still in Central Florida. And that's probably a good thing. So um, anyway, staycations, I'd, I'd say, is my bonus. Um, those are what I tried to make as a little different reasons why I love living here. Hopefully you found that interesting. If you do have any questions or are looking to move here to Central Florida and have real estate questions, I've been in business 22 years and I'm more than happy to help you and guide you through the process. I work with a lot of people every day and I want to help you if I can. You're always welcome to reach out to me below. I'll also give you my phone number this is my mobile direct number. And yes, I do pick up the phone. 321-228-5555. And again, I appreciate your time. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Hey, if you found that video interesting and you're looking to move here to Central Florida, you got to check out some of these videos. They're going to give you more information about moving in real estate. Thanks again.